What is up everybody, MTG Peddler here, and we are here with Modern Horizons 2, Collector's Box number seven. Hope everyone is having a great day. These have been an absolute blast to open, and we still have one more box to go through after this. So let's see what we can do with box number seven. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor, take a second, hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps out. All right guys, pack one, let's just dive right in, right? Why not? And we're going to have our commons and uncommons that no one cares about. And then we're going to have our etched, whoops, sorry, etched forest into an extended art unmarked grave, lens flare, general Ferros is our sketch card into a blacksmith's skill retro foil, uh, gargadon, terminal agony, Oh, very nice. Uh, etched Foil Verdant Catacombs for our first fetch land of the box. It's a very nice way to start out the box. Oh, and, and a Retro Foil Marsh Flats. I mean, that, that, that works. That is a very, very nice pack one. Two fetch lands right off the bat. Very, very nice. One etched and one uh, foil in that retro frame. Very, very good way to start this box. Let's see what kind of momentum we can keep up, and we're going to go with the, uh, excuse me, Extended Art Profane Tutor. Floodhound. Oh, very nice. Uh, Borderless Subtlety, our first mythic of the box. I, I love this art. It's really, really cool looking. So our first mythic. Into an Ingenious Infiltrator. Nestle, nested Shambler. Seal of Removal, and uh, that is Ayula, Queen Amongst, Among Bears. It's Etched Foil. Oh my god, this is a great box so far. That is a Sketch Foil Urza Saga. That is fantastic. That, that is really nice. That is a, those are two very, very good packs. I don't think anyone would complain of opening those two packs. All right. Pack number three. Maybe this is going to be our like box with all the huge hits in it. Who knows? Who knows? Got to open them to find out, right? Sorry, my pile's kind of sliding all over the place. Uh, etched Island into an extended art guy as well. Late to dinner. Fractured Sanity. Uh, sketch Rare. Into, oh, it's the first time I've seen this. Uh, ephemerate. Very, very cool art there. I like that a lot. Into a Chancellor. Also foil, Ornithopter of Paradise in uh, Retro Etched. Another Marsh Flats, are you kidding me? I've hit so many Marsh Flats. This time this is a, ex uh, a Retro Etched treatment. So that is our third fetch land of the box. Another Marsh Flats, are you kidding me? We've hit three Marsh Flats in, t in three p packs. That is crazy. We've gotten three variants too, right? Yeah, we got the foil, the etched, and now the extended art foil. That is, that's insane. That is insane. All right. <laughs> how many marsh flats? We're gonna start like a marsh flats counter down there or something. This, how, how many marsh flats are we gonna get? I, I swear to God, I've opened between, uh, probably a dozen of them in these uh, seven boxes. Uh, so we have an etched island. Oh, very nice hit there too. Uh, Dolphy Voidwalker Extended Art. It's a nice hit in the rare slot. Timeless Witness. Rise and Shine. Abundant Harvest. Glimmer Bairn. Liquid Metal Torque. Into a Etched Foil guy as well. Where am I putting these? I don't even know where I'm, I don't even know where I'm putting these things. Hold on. I, I messed my pile all up. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're just going to put it right here. And I'll figure it out later. And a uh, foil retro goblin engineer. So we still only have one uh, mythic, but I'm not going to complain. Four fetch lands. Not in the slightest. Go through our commons and uncommons, and hopefully this time I won't mess up the piles any further. I, I can worry, worry about that later, right? Uh, extended art void mirror. Pretty cool looking card. Phantasmal Dreadmaw. Oh, very cool. Uh, Dokken Sword Slayer. 
Uh, borderless, that is Mythic number two. Very nice hit. Into another Glimmer. Uh, Abundant Harvest. Wrong pile. There we go. Uh, Abundant Harvest. <laughs> Nested Shambler. Into it. Oh, that's really cool looking. Uh, etched Foil. Etched Retro Frame Dam. That's actually really cool. I, I don't like Etched Foils that much, but this one actually looks really, really nice. I like that. And... Uh, Extended Art Foil Master of Death. Yeah, squirrel Token, too. All right, this is pack number six, guys. So this is the halfway point of the box right here. Let's see how this first half will end up. So far, I mean, I, I can't complain at all. Etch Foil Plains, another, another fetch land. Extended Art Scalding Tarn. Wow, that, that, that officially sets our record for the most uh, fetch lands in a box. Previous before this, it was uh, four, so that was our fifth one. Cryptozoologist into a Soul Snare. W World Weary. Magmatic Sinkhole in the uh, Etched Foil Retro Frame. Very cool looking. Calibrated Blast, Etched Foil, and a Foil Retro Frame Necrogoyf. I don't believe there's much value in that, but hey, we got a Scalding Tarn. Not gonna complain at all. All right, so. This is the first pack of the left stack. Let's see if this left stack can compare with that right stack. That was an awesome half a box right there. So we have an island etched. Yavimaya, Yavimaya Cradle of Growth. I open these things way too much. Jade Avenger. And there's our third mythic, uh, Endurance. A very nice looking card also. I, I love, like I said, the, all these borderless cards, they look really, really nice. Third mythic. Nested Shambler again. Universal Automaton in foil. Bone Shredder into an etched foil persist and an extended art foil sanctifier and vec. Very, very nice. Moving right along. It'd be crazy if we hit, like, even just one more fetch lane would, would be pretty bonkers. Six is a lot. I don't, I don't know if I've seen six out of a uh, collector's box yet. I don't believe. I don't, I don't know, I might have. Uh, Usury, Fortune's Flame, Extended Art, Kitchen Imp, Sithis, Harvest Hand, into a Lens Flare, Goblin and Necromancer, uh, another Glimmer Barn, Bairn, Bairn, I guess, sure. However you say it, I got another one of those. Uh, Retro Resurgent Belief in Etched Foil, and, oh, very nice. <laughs> this has been quite the box. And I've been told that this is a fetch land also, so I'm not going to include it, but I guess I will. Why not? Who cares? Prismatic Vista Foil Retro Frame. Another very, very nice hit there. So if we're including the Prismatic as, an, as a uh, fetch land, that would be fetch land number six. And we have our Etched Forest. Into a Piru, the Volatile, Extended Art. I, I think I'm contract, contractually obligated to open at least one of these per box. I always seem to hit it. Mystic Redaction. Into a Sketch Art Persist. Blossoming Calm. I don't think I've seen that one yet, honestly. Into an Ornithopter of Paradise. Foil. Cool looking. Patchwork Gnomes. Etched. Uh, Never Neural's Disc in Etched as well, and, oh, very nice, uh, Borderless uh, Foil Mistress Factory. Very, very cool looking. I don't think that's high in value. It just looks really, really cool. Three packs left. A quick box. Very quick box. I think we're only like nine minutes in right now, some, somewhere like that. All right, so we have our Etched Foil Swamp. Uh, extended Art Blood Braid Marauder. Faithless Salvaging. Whoop. Thought Monitor, at, uh, Sketch Art, into a Kitchen Imp, and then we have Land War Tribe in Foil, Chatterstorm in Etched, uh, Patriarch's Blessing, Etched Foil, and, oh, very nice, uh, Extended Art Foil, Dothy Voidwalker. That's actually one of the rares that you want to hit. That is one of the pricier rares in the Extended Art Foil treatment. Two packs left, guys. Still, I think we're only, yeah we're sitting on three mythics still. So this myth, this box has not been performing on mythics, but man, 
Those fetch lands have been crazy. Beautiful Lightning Plains. I think that's the first one we've hit in this box. Territorial Kavu, Extended Art. Abundant Harvest. Into a Borderless Vindicate. Very cool looking card. Every single, I swear, every single Borderless card looks absolutely amazing in this set. It's a World Weary. Uh, Talisman of Hierarchy. Into another Talisman of Conviction. Ignoble Hierarch. Uh, Retro Frame Etched Foil. Very cool. And a Verdant Catacombs. Are you kidding me? Retro Foil Verdant Catacombs. Wow. That's insane. That is, it's, there's so many fetch lands in this box. We have, this is our last pack, but oh my god. This has been such a crazy box. Such, such a crazy box. Oh my god. I just saw something, guys. I just saw something. Did you guys see it? Beyond this mountain? Yeah, guess what? It's another Marsh Flats. We've hit four, four Marsh Flats, all four different variants in this box. Stupid. It's stupid. And then we're going to have a Chancellor. Oh, there we go. There's our, there's our fourth Mythic, uh, Grist the Hunger Tide sketch. That's actually a really, really cool looking sketch card also. I haven't seen it yet. Like that a lot. Into an Ornithopter of Paradise uh, foil. Ravenous Squirrel into a Mog Salvage, etched. Oh, Scion of Draco, etched uh, retro frame. Really, really cool. That's Mythic number five. And we're going to round out the box with, oh my God, stop it. Stop, what a box. Are you kidding me? Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer, Borderless Foil. Guys, this box. Let me take a second here. Let, let, let's let's start with just just the fetch lands out of this box. We have one, two, if, if you count the Prismatic Vista, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fetch lands out of this box, guys. Eight fetch lands. Seven if you inc don't include the Prismatic Vista. I don't know if you guys include that or not. It is basically a fetch land, so I, I don't know. But we're gonna say we're gonna say eight mythics or um, sorry, eight fetch lands and just our mythics. It's just, this just Ragavon alone is stupid. And then we have the Sign of Draco, the Gris, Endurance, Dakin, Subtly. That was an awesome box, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys watched the whole thing because that was intense. All right, guys. Oh, I'm going to catch my breath, put all these cards away, and then I will we'll see you guys with our last box, box number eight, which only means that we're getting really close to D&D &D coming out. So we're going to have a ton of D&D &D to open up to. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, everyone, please take it easy.